I think there's also a big culture, isn't there, in terms of promotion within a company around the like socialising that goes on and the sort of networking. And I know that that can often mean like going out in the evenings or going into places that aren't comfortable for us. And it's always really bothered me that it doesn't seem like it's entirely based on how good you are at what you do and more on who you know. And that seems completely logical and I find that really frustrating. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that's something that might change in the future or is that something that you encounter? Well, you always want to have a career path when you start a, com a new company. You don't want to, you know, go in and think this is exactly the same position I'm going to be in the whole time. I mean, some people do, but then not knowing how to get there a lot of the time is, you know, through the social connections you meet, it's about talking to people who will put in a good word to show that you are enthusiastic about the business, enthusiastic about your job, and you can't really show that without, you know, turning up to the birthday parties, going to the drinks, and that... That doesn't suit me. That doesn't suit a lot of autistic people. Like, it, it, I if I went out and had a, a few drinks with a few people, colleagues from work, I'd probably have a good night, and then I'd go back and I'd just think of everything I could have possibly said that was even slightly wrong, and I'd replay it over my mind, over and over again, and I'd turn up to work the next day, a mess. And any benefit that I'd pushed myself up on that evening or that night, it would just all get ruined by my performance the next day. I think the way around that is to really discuss with senior staff, senior managers, how, what they look for when you're trying to move forward, have that conversation that you are trying to look forward and trying to progress in your career with the managers so they are aware and there's things that they can look out for because sometimes, yeah, there is that unspoken rule that it is about, you know, being part of the team and being part of the team isn't just doing the work for the team, it's going out on the social side. Yeah, I definitely think there are ways to do that socialising where you can be like, well, I'd actually like to have a meeting with someone from another department and just chat to them about what they do and what I do and what I want to do. And having that as your way to socialise rather than the, oh, let's all go down to the pub and do this thing that's going to knacker me out and make me feel really paranoid that I've said something weird. Exactly.